Hi, welcome. I hope you're doing well. This video here I'll be doing a review on the HP desktop computer. So here you can see this is an Intel i3 processor and this is the front of the computer. Let me slide it down a little bit so you can get to see a USB-C. This is the SD card USB ports. There are four of them, headphone jacks and a power button. All right, so let me put it on the side. And this is a desktop. And I'll be showing you the model number. So let me tilt it on the side here. So here you can see this is the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop PC. And the model is TG01-1022. And I believe this model here is year for 2020, um, or maybe the 2021 uh, gaming desktop here. All right, so let me apologize in advance about the angle on the camera. This is the best I could do to film um, to film this straight down direction for you. Okay, so let me go ahead and open up the side panels. Oh, sorry, before I do that, let me show you what is in the back of it. And let me see. It's better to put it this direction here. So the... The very top left corner, you can get to see those are the audio jacks. There are three of them. Um, it doesn't allow you to use the onboard graphics. The onboard graphics is the HDMI. I believe this is a VGA. They kind of covered it up. All right, so push it down a little bit. You have four USB ports, Ethernet cable, uh, sorry, Ethernet ports. And here is the graphics card. So this graphics card is um, EVGA 1650 if I'm not mistaken so um, I believe HP have a different model for different graphics card but for mine is 1650 so you have a DVI port HDMI and display port I believe this graphics card allows you to go up to three monitors so if you're planning to have three screens you have to buy a monitor that have the input for DVI, HDMI or display port. So if you go down a little bit more and this is the power supply. All right, so let's take a look what is in the computer. So to get open up the screw, you need to have a torque screwdriver. So once you have the screws loosen up the side panel will slide to your right or well, depending on how you put it angle let me put it this direction uh, this is a straight down so once you have the screw lo loose you can slide the side panel to your left and that's how you open it up so it's just a slide uh, slide to, to remove the um, the side panel let's remove this one as well so at least we'll take a deep dive into the spec on this computer this is another torque screw. Go ahead and remove that screw. So once the screw is removed, you can actually lift this thing up. This is just a side panel, um, a bracket here. To install, you see that little three um, holes in it. So this is a slide in. See that thing, you slide it in, and that's how you install it with the screws, putting it back on here. All right, so once the screws are removed, and you can actually remove that all together. Now, the next part is um, you want to remove the, uh, the front cover. So this is the front cover here. Okay, and to remove that, what you want to do is you just want to lift the tap up a little bit. There are three of them, second and third. Once you remove that, you can actually see that the thing come loose without any problem. Now there is a cable here connected to that and to remove the cable I'm using my two of my uh, fingernail slide underneath the white connector and I lift it up so it's not pushing it away or anything I'm lifting it up all right so this is the connector let me see if I can focus the connector here for you so the connector is is just pushed down 
to the motherboard and that's how it's secure uh, push it down to remove it you're just going to lift it up all right so this is the front cover is removed let's put that on the side here let me go ahead and remove that as well for you so there's one screw right here in the middle once you open up the cover so go ahead and remove that screw okay one of the uh, one this once the screw is removed this bracket here can actually come out without any problem so you just lift it up and then slide it away um, okay. it shouldn't be that difficult all right so again the way it works is um, this one here is actually slide into the connector and then push it down okay so just make sure you have it in the right um, sliding area to do that all right let's focus back into the main parts here so this is your exhaust fan and the exhaust fan would be uh, blowing hot air to the back of the computer this is your CPU the CPU has a regular fan that blows the hot air underneath the heat sink here all right so for you if you want to remove or replace the CPU fan you need to have a torque screwdriver go ahead and unscrew the four screws once you remove the four screws you can disconnect the CPU cable here the entire CPU will just come right out without any problem now um, let's go ahead and do that and show it to you so I remove the connector by lifting the connector up go ahead and remove not remove like unscrew that heat sink so if you feel like the computer is overheating and if you're in a hot climate country you know maybe during summertime um, the temperature is getting too high so what you can do is uh, you can change the CPU heat sink to a third party a better CPU cooling would perform better on a computer it's just a personal preference it is okay to use the stock CPU fan but if you want it to be a better cooling system you would have to install a third party ones alright so once the four screws is unscrewed the CPU heat sink will just come right out without any problem now for those of you who watching this video is probably down like a year or two or three years later and you feel like the temperature is hot but it was okay for you using the original fan what you want to do is you want to get a alcohol wipes right here to go ahead and wipe off the dry thermal paste so this thermal paste over time they do get dried out when it's all dry it does not conduct the heat as properly as how it should be so you get a thermal uh sorry get a uh, alcohol wipes here go ahead and wipe it down and also wipe down your CPU here so once the thermal paste is wiped all clean you can get a thermal paste and do a little bit uh, apply a little bit on the CPU and that way you would have a better cooling afterwards all right let's move down here this is your RAM so here is actually uh, a DDR4 RAM so let me go ahead and open up the RAM to remove the RAM you want to push the two side okay so this two side clipper you push it up and that's how you remove the RAM here as you can see this is the uh, PC4 stands for DDR4 this is a 8 gigabytes RAM so you can install on a slot 1 and you can install the secondary in a slot 2 so when you do it on a secondary that means you would have 16 gigs of RAM total 8 and 8 or you can do 16 and 16 that push it up to 32 gigs of RAM alright so let's move on to this one here this is actually your Wi-Fi card so here uh, the computer has the Ethernet built-in and also has the Wi-Fi built-in as well so um, if your Wi-Fi is not working this is the Wi-Fi card you need to change this is uh, just a Philips screw dry uh, Philips screw that's holding on to the Wi-Fi so unscrew this remove that cable do a replacement and you should be good to go alright so if you go further down here here is your 
NVMe M.2 SSD drive. This SSD drive is the one that hosts your operating system, Windows 10, your data, everything stores in here. Okay, so if you feel like the hard drive is too small and you want to increase the hard drive, so there's one screw that's holding onto the SSD. Go ahead and remove that screw. All right, once the screw is removed, you can slide out the SSD drive. Let me go ahead and get my screw. The screw fell underneath here. All right, so this one screw is holding onto the M.2 um, SSD drive. Okay, so here is, let me see how big is this? This is 256 gigabyte. Okay, 256 gigabyte. Uh, it's not a big solid state drive to be honest with you Once you install a few games on it, you probably max out the entire drive So you might you might want to at least go with uh, 512 or 1 terabyte M.2 uh, I will have the link in the description below where you can buy the hard drive uh, the hardware or things like that to upgrade this computer if if you actually had this computer and you want to do an upgrade check out my description below um, hopefully that would direct you to the right place and get you the right parts and get you started with the upgrades all right let's move on to the next part here so pretty much I want to explain the next thing is the cabling so this is a four pin connector this this four pin connector power supply is the brown and black this cable here goes all the way to to this uh, power supply here at the bottom here okay and this motherboard does not have the uh, 24 pin connector so this motherboard is proprietary it only runs on a 4 pin as well so the motherboard consuming on the electric is very low uh, therefore this power supply here is proprietary okay so same goes into the hard drive so as you can see the motherboard is the one who is supporting the power to the hard drive it's not coming from the power supply so the power supply fits the motherboard the motherboard fits the um, additional hard drive if you want to upgrade for like a second hard drive or a data drive so okay so this is actually extra it's not part of the computer uh, the bracket here is where it allows you to install additional hard drive okay uh, I probably make another video separately just to show you how to upgrade to a, like a secondary drive you know like maybe a, a 2.5 inch uh, SSD drive or maybe like a 3.5 inch regular hard drive so I'll do a separate video for that and um, just look it up on my channel I'll, I'll have that in in a description this video here is mostly a review on what is in the component on, on this on this desktop here all right so let's move on so um this is the graphics card here okay so this graphics card here is 1650 uh let me remove the pin here so this is a six pin connector for this graphics card and this graphics card here uh is pretty standard it's not any proprietary um you know like evga or nvidia graphics card this is pretty generic graphics card it would get the job done it would you know let you play the game but I'm not 100% sure how good uh, the uh, FPS is, the frame uh, frame rate per second for you. But anyway, this is a 1650 graphics card. Uh, it's pretty decent. All right, so uh, look at the motherboard here. It's pretty standard. It doesn't have additional uh, M.2 slots. It's just there's only one available here. And uh, that is, that, that's it. All right, so let's take a look at the front here see if you can get additional um, intake of the cooling maybe you want to install another separate fan right here or maybe another fan right there just to bring some cool air the intake of the fan the airflow uh, to cool the system um, I'm not sure if I can do it here on this one I'll probably make a separate video for it once I found out if, if it can be done or not uh, just check out my description subscribe um, the channel at least if you get a notification that way you can tell whether it was upgradable or not all right so let's move on to the very last one it would be your power supply here let me turn it around 
so the power supply is proprietary uh, power supply uh, I don't think you can change it up to a larger power supply because the bracket at the bottom of the case it is not open all right so the power supply is pretty small power supply here so let me bring it up closer to the screen if you have a broken power supply you want to do a replacement go ahead and check out this model here L7 excuse me L76557-003 okay so this is the model number for the power supply uh, if you have a broken power supply or shorted out uh, that is the part you need to order and get it replaced all right so uh, pretty much this is what I have for you on this computer uh, if you have any question comment below uh, you know please smash the like button I really appreciate that you are watching this video and uh, showing the interest of this uh, review on this uh, HP gaming desktop so please subscribe I really appreciate for your time for watching uh, any question comment below I'm more than happy to answer those questions I look forward to make more videos for you again and until next time please take care and I'll see you soon